Hi friends, Laura here with Cox Homestead and today I'm going to share with you our brand new rabbit tractor. We have been using a homemade rabbit tractor from free stuff for the last six, eight months and it was so heavy I could not pull it. We were trying to see how our rabbits would do on the pasture before investing anything financially into it. And our rabbits did fantastic. So we decided to invest and put some time into building the Polyface Designs rabbit tractor. So that's what I will be showing you today. It is so light, I can move it. My seven-year-old son could move it and I, that means a lot. That means I don't have to do everything. My husband doesn't have to ever do everything. Our kids can help. So we're really excited to have this. And we went by the book, the Polyface Designs book. My husband followed it, I think nearly to a T. And um, I'm gonna go over all that that entails and show you what it looks like and show you some rabbits as we put them in there. This tractor is gonna be all for male rabbits. We do not grow ours out together if we can prevent it because sometimes we go past 12 weeks.
what do y'all think? Oh, we're gonna start humping. Completely normal behavior. They're trying to figure out who's who and where they're at and what is going on. And uh, so there'll be some humping going on. That is natural. That is a part of their nature. Um, you can see that one has a two in its ear. I number the, the bucks and the does. And so I know who's who when I'm splitting them. But look at them explore. All right. We have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bucks in here. Um, I think I would put up to ten. Uh, I don't know what Polyface says exactly, but I know we've had up to ten in our other style. And it was a similar size, and they did fine. Um, these guys are about a week and a half apart in age. But they appear to be doing fine so far. So I'm going to roll with it and let it be for them. I'm going to test this audio now. I think I was holding that microphone a little too close to my mouth. So it is pretty droughty here right now. We don't have a ton of rain rolling in. Our grass is... Okay, he needs my help for about like five minutes. Our grass is green, but it is not lush. So... I don't know if they'll still be getting 70% uh, savings and feed cost on these guys with the grass being so poor, but I'm going to give it a try and see. We did them through the winter and it really seemed to save, so I think we can get through the heat of the summer trying this too. And they're going to have a lot more airflow with this just having the chicken wire sides. And it has the uh, wood floor. And this wood is against the ground. So if you need to step in there, if you saw where I took that lid off, you can step in there and reach the rabbits. Oh, one has already discovered the waterer. This is our watering system. It's a five gallon bucket up top here. I use that red bucket to carry the water out here. And pour it in the bucket with the tube that goes outside. You want a tube that goes outside. If it's inside, they will chew it. I know from experience. And this is one by one wire on this side. Gives you a sturdy base to attach your watering system and your feeding system. I give unlimited feed to these guys because their whole purpose right now is to grow, grow, grow. And I have noticed they do a pretty good job eating the grass and not just overgorging on the feed. They are happy to be running around, can't you tell? Oh, makes me so happy to see. I really like finishing out rabbits this way because I feel like they get to live their best, happiest life before they go to freezer camp. So I'll go ahead and walk all the way around this. He used, a, uh, I don't know what kind of wood. I'm gonna have to go see what kind of wood he used on this. I'll get back to you. He needs my help inside. I'll be right back. Okay. I am back with details on what this wood is. The bottom slats are oak, so it's very hard and durable for being against the ground and um, their urine and chewing and all that stuff. The sides, we have our poplar. That's what our local sawmill had for us to use as a lightweight wood. You could also use pine. And um, all this lumber we got came from a local sawmill, which if you can support, all the more better. And oftentimes they have even better prices and it's not treated wood because you don't want your precious little buns chewing on treated wood. We had some roofing here, scrap piles. We've had these scrap piles move with us for, <laughs> um, at least once. So, or no, we've moved them twice, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's what we use on our roof, and um, it's going to do a fine job keeping them dry. We went overhung them a little bit to help give a little extra protection. Now, in the winter here, we do not have anything designed just yet for how to block the wind. So we're going to have to get creative. Our last rabbit run was big enough that we could put a little doghouse in there for them to get inside. But that's not going to be the case here. We may end up having to use a tarp if we use this method in the winter months. Now on to the pulling mechanism that we're using. He has some, it looks like electric fence wire here, two pieces. He has this electric fence wire here. Two pieces of it goes through this plastic 
Um, I guess, is that a water line? I don't know. It's something plastic. <laughs> I'm sure this is going to drive somebody nuts that's watching this. I don't know what that is. A plastic piece. And it connects back over here. And that's what we pull it with. The plastic piece helps make it gentle on our hands. There is my dearest cat who everyone on Instagram loves, Mr. Honey. If you're not following me on Instagram, check me out there, Cox Homestead Kodak. Don't you love that little plug? So how I plan to do the food and water, as this is a mobile unit and our barn is over there. It has a hard time focusing. We are a little bit a ways away from our barn. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna have this food bucket that I move with them. And I plan to um, get this bucket on my way up from the house. When I'm coming out to do chores, I will grab the water bucket, take it to the barn to do my chores, go do all my chores in the barn, fill the bucket up on my way out, fill up the rabbit water, or leave the bucket here for the following day. Now, this bucket will get extra sun, so I'll have to replace it sooner. As you can see, it already has a lot of sun. It once was red, it's looking pink now. But that's gonna be my time-saving trick for how to do it. Until we get a mobile water and food unit built. So that wraps up our 2022 Rabbit Tractor Tour Design cover from Polyface Designs. I hope that you enjoyed it. If there's anything I left out that you have questions about, leave them in the comment below. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit that so you can tune in to see how this tractor does on our farm and to learn more about raising rabbits. And in the meantime, eat more rabbit! <laughs>teach you about it <laughs> no I know a little bit but um, if only you could really see the behind the scenes of behind the scenes of how long it's taking me to film this little short video okay take one out okay I don't actually I don't know what that is <gasps> it's the heat of summer here and I like it <laughs> okay I cannot hold this or I will just want to sing and perform let me go get the stand But love it. Okay, now I gotta get this hidden. And still point it up. Where Tech Man? Where are you, Tech Man? Ah, oh, I know I need to do this. I'm right here. Are you my tech man? Yeah. Okay. Alright, I think we're ready. Testing one, two, three. Um I wish I would quit talking so obnoxiously. Ideally, I like to get mine all the way to 16 weeks, so they will end up getting to that sexual maturation age. So I typically use um, the tractor for a gender specific. So that wraps up our Polyface Designed Rabbit Tractor Tour. Oh my, tour? Tractor? Who says that?